Why does this stuff always have to happen on a Monday? Hello guys, uh, I'm keeping my voice down uh, because, you know, train, there's people here. But, you join me on a southern train going to Portsmouth Harbour because today, the 1st of November 2021, <laughs> wait, I said it again, I messed up on that. Today, on the 1st of November 2021, uh, is the reopening of the island line after it's been closed for several months and not only that they've got new trains so we are going to take a look at them that's right and this time i'm not being quiet because i'm coming to you from the magical world of voiceover so after a 10 month closure and a 26 million pound refurb the island line is back in business and after a quick ferry ride over i decided to take a look at what was going on Hold on. There's a hovercraft going past behind me, and I'm on a pier with some railway tracks, which must mean I'm only in one place, and that is the Isle of Wight pier, ride pier thing. Now, the first thing I'm noticing is the way this, these platforms have been like adjusted. The height of them has been corrected for these new trains, which hopefully is going to be pulling in any minute now. The bad weather set in, but down there I can see a train, which is very exciting. I was going to try and film the train coming in, it's still sitting down there. I'm not sure what the delay is, but it's running very late. And here we have a video where you can't hear a thing I'm saying over the wind noise, so I'm back in voiceover. Basically, I was saying something along the lines of how the train was just sitting there instead of coming up the pier. And I'd also been told by station staff that there was a line side fire at Sandown and the train wouldn't be going beyond St John's Road. Eventually, however, the train did make it down the pier. and on board the train out of the rain. So, just gonna step back out on the platform. The first thing I've noticed about this train is that it's actually, it's got four carriages, which is pretty cool, because the old trains only had two carriages. I mean, it's technically two units coupled together, but nonetheless, it is a four car train as opposed to a two car train. Looking at the train itself, it's a really smart contemporary interior. And uh, one thing I actually want to check is if we head down to the end here, I believe. Uh huh. No, I know I've spoken to her. Uh huh. So that is something you couldn't do on the old trains, and a feature which I think is nice that you can actually pass through the. Uh, pass through the, the carriages between, although because it's two units, you can still see that uh, you can't get between the two different units. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the trains. So these are actually old district line trains, but they've been so thoroughly refurbished that you really wouldn't know. They're basically brand new trains, uh, from, certainly from a customer perspective. And I don't know what else to say, they're really nice. I am a big fan of these trains. Ride Esplanade, where again, things have been raised to be the correct type of train. And it looks really nice as well in the Island Line livery and stuff. I'm a big fan of these trains. Also, just general fun facts and stuff. I just got dripped on. So these trains were converted, like modernized, uh, from when they were district line trains by a company called Viva Rail. You probably already know that. But in case you didn't, fun fact. Also lovely flowers on the like disused platform over there. Very nice.
So the doors open quite slowly, but here we are at Ride St John's Road, which, at least for now, for today, is the end of the line <laughs> because there is a fire further down, which is uh, a lot of fun. But I mean, we do get to look at the depot, and uh, there's 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 nothing to see. There's nothing to see. Um, <laughs> yeah. Interestingly, whilst uh, the uh, train has terminated here for now, just because of an incident, uh, if Dr. Beeching had his way, this would be all there is on the island. So he proposed uh, actually closing all of the railways on the island, apart from the, the bit we just rode, from Ride Pier Head to Ride St. John's Road, where I am now, and all the rest of the line, further down to Shanklin, wouldn't exist. Uh, luckily, they did manage to save it, but uh, so if Dr. Beeching had his way, this would be the extent of the island line. So we had reached the end of the line at St. John's Road, and the train needed to turn around. But since it wasn't able to reverse down the same line it had come here on, it proceeded to head slightly further down the line on a shunt signal before returning on the other track. Whilst it was gone, I was also able to catch a glimpse of how they've literally just raised the platform by bolting the new bit to the top of the existing bit. And then the train arrived again on the other platform. It's remarkably flush with the platform. Alright, ride Esplanade again. Now, I've had an idea of actually what I'm going to do. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, this here says charging point. There's nothing there! There's nothing... There's nothing on it! Why does it say charging point and then there's nothing there? Anyway, there are some actual charging points down here. And I'm going to test it out, like we're literally only going from here to the pier, but if I can get 1% out of it, then I, oh goodness, then I'll know it works. Oh. I found the lead, so I plug it in there. The charging works, so that's good. So, I'm enjoying the last few metres of this train ride, and then I'm going to get the ferry back home. Welcome to Ride Pier. And uh, I'm going to do the outro now because, yeah, I'm gonna go back home. This hasn't been ideal, but I've got a video out of it and hopefully you guys enjoyed. So I'll see you in the next one.